Hi, greetings my YouTube peeps. Got a great little program for you today. It's going to be a short quickie, but addresses a very good subject on, uh, especially for you guys who are shopping for diamonds online. Okay, you know that we're all about information, uh, informational technologies, things that's going to help communicate to you guys and gals. Uh, data, information, photography, reports, and of course videos that are going to help you guys make better decisions out there. And um, the reason why this video is excellent is because it demonstrates why you can't always rely on these uh, pictures that you see online, okay? Even if they're actual images of the diamond, okay? Um, something that's getting more and more popular online is these spinning video images, and I think they're great. Listen, it's a technology we're going to invest in ourselves. God willing, you'll see this on our website in the near future. But even those spinning videos of diamonds don't tell the whole story, okay? Now, what I have coming up on the screen right now is... Um, a couple of diamonds here. The diamond on your far left. I want you to look at that diamond and I want you to look at it next to the two diamonds to the right of it. Okay? You're going to notice a hazy appearance in the two diamonds on the right. The client that we're serving here, you know, he's on a budget. Uh, listen, aren't we all? And, um, and these are or these, yeah, they are two of the least expensive SI2s out there that you're going to see in a search, okay? So when you search, and their cut qualities are excellent, their brightness, their fire, and all of everything else, but look at how hazy those two diamonds are, okay? And now the diamond that doesn't look hazy, and I'm just going to tell you this, the diamond that doesn't look hazy is a worse clarity grade than the other two. The unhazy diamond is an imperfect to the first degree, okay? Yeah, and an, and an imperfect to the first degree, the inclusion is going to be eye visible in it, but it's not going to impact the transparency. The two diamonds on the right of it that are hazy are SI2s, okay? They're two of your lesser expensive SI2s, cheaper than all the other ones out there. So. But, okay, and, and then the diamond on the far right now is another SI, but it's not impacted. It doesn't have that haze. Like the I1 doesn't have that haze. And the reason why those two diamonds have haze is if you got the, there are two reasons within each one of the diamonds. One of them has... Uh, it's primary, both of them really, the primary inclusions are large saturated clouds. But you won't see this on a GIA report. If you just see the GIA report, it'll make a comment maybe about a cloud, or clouds not shown on the diamond. But these clouds impact the diamond's transparency. We've seen this in SI2 and also in SI1. We've seen it impact transparency in VS2s, but um, it'll be more localized or within a specific area of the diamond and to, and to a much lesser extent. It's usually not so much of an issue with VS clarities, but in SI1 and SI2 you can have that. And if you take those clouding issues and you combine it with certain graining levels within diamond, it's, it's going to make the diamond look hazy like that. And all of these diamonds were cleaned thoroughly by myself before we shot this video, okay? So, now, here's the thing. Watch when we change the lighting to diffuse lighting. When we change the lighting to diffuse lighting, you can hardly see a difference. Now, all you're seeing now is the brightness of the diamonds uh, in diffused, uh, indoor diffuse lighting. So. And which is kind of similar to the lighting that's used in internet photography for those spinning videos and everything else like that. So, listen, I'm a huge advocate for buying diamonds online. I sell diamonds online. But if the diamonds aren't being vetted, 
by a professional like myself. <laughs> um, you know, really, it, it's it could look great. Everything could look great online, and all the consumers on the forums can look at it and say, "Oh, the cut quality is great. The diamond in the spinning video looks great." Um, it's tough to see clouds in diffused lighting. Um, you know, so this is again, it's just just a quick little uh, video I wanted to shoot for you guys, showing you the importance of having a diamond vetted. All right, and listen, we have a concierge service for you guys and gals that is second to none, second to none. We double, triple, and quadruple your investment with us when we're hunting diamonds for our clients. So, I'm going to cut it short here. Thought I'd just share this little quick, uh, quick little tips with you on the importance of diamond netting, okay, and how clouds can impact transparency. Thank you for watching.